And Charles Lawrence walked in the door. I thought, I swear I know this guy from somewhere. Now I'm watching from the monitor in the other room as he walks in, and something strikes me. He looks familiar. I couldn't put my finger on it. And it dawns on me that this is a fellow I had met on the commuter train years ago. Knew his name. He was in real estate. And here he is in our kitchen trying to hook up with a 13-year-old boy. When Lawrence sees me, he bolts, gripped in sheer panic. What are you doing here? Chris, please. I know, but we'll, we'll, you'd have to explain this to me. Come here, man. He runs out the door. Now the man I know from the train is about to be derailed. The Fairfield cops nab him in the driveway. They slap the cuffs on him and take him into the garage. Do you have any weapons? No. Anything that's going to hurt us? No. Any needles? No. He's put into the back seat of an unmarked car and taken to police headquarters. At the station, he tries to hide his face with a hoodie, but there's no escape from our cameras. The Fairfield police chief gave us rare access in the back rooms of the station, so you can see the booking process up close. Anything you say or statements you make may be used against you. Lawrence empties his pockets and cops frisk him. They take his mugshot, he's fingerprinted, and he gives his consent to allow cops to search his SUV. Want me to, uh, I'll do this side? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cops find cigarettes, condoms, and a gay porn video called Seattle Bareback Boys. Lawrence is taken into the interrogation room. He signs away his right to remain silent. You know, I mean, Chris Hansen is actually, I know him, he's a friend of mine. I commuted on the train for years. And that's more of an embarrassment than anything. I've seen Chris's show before, so I... I understand you've seen Chris's show before. Yeah. And unfortunately, this is this is the way this is played out. No, Chris... When you meet Chris Hansen on the kitchen, there's no way. On social media, Lawrence calls himself an 8 by 6 guy. The decoy clearly tells Lawrence his age. How old are you? Swear you won't report me? Of course not. 13. But when the decoy reveals his supposed age, Lawrence immediately follows up with what seems to be either concern or some unrecognized intuition. Are you a cop or involved in law enforcement? LOL. Really? Gotta be careful. Yeah, man, I get it. The conversation quickly becomes sexually charged. I had sex with my ex-girlfriend, nothing with a guy. Gotcha. But you like guys better now? Never tried it, but being with my girlfriend was really awkward. Maybe you need a good teacher. Yeah, you know one? You're talking to him, LOL. School is in session. Then the lesson turns even naughtier as Lawrence talks to our decoy about hardcore gay porn. Do you watch porn? Yeah. What do you like to watch? Yeah, what do you like? Mostly gay porn and some bi porn. But the exchange gets so graphic, we can't reveal the remaining text. Finally, Lawrence arrives, and the sting is on. How you doing? How are you? Good. Come in. All the lights on. I know, it's getting dark out. It's supposed to rain, it's hurricane. You want something to eat? No, I know. You want to, you can take a seat, well, you want a drink? You want some water? Yeah, great. You want water? Yeah. Yeah. How's your day been so far? Good, good. Yeah? There you go. Some water, So did you bring anything? Oh, I have in the car. You have in the car? But before he can retrieve something from his car, Lawrence is about to get a big surprise. No, Chris. And if he thinks he's in for a shock, so am I. What are you doing here? Something strikes me. It looks familiar. We've hired an 18-year-old actor to play the part of the young teen. Hey. <laughs> Come on in. All right. Awesome. All right. Dude, yes, yes, yes. You, you have a good direction. Online in an AOL gay chat room calling himself Hi Buddy What's Up, he tells the decoy who's pretending to be a 14-year-old boy that he's horny. Then the 46-year-old says, I want to be top. Oh, okay. You want to do it raw? Raw? Yes. What's that? No rubber. I was close to beer left. I now he's here, beer in I hand, stopped. asking I the decoy several times to put it in the refrigerator. 
Yeah, you can put that in the fridge. Yeah, I'll put it in a little bit. All um, right. I'll relax. I'm just a little nervous. I'm nervous, well. too. Sorry. <laughs> My excuse to come here, I went to Atlantic City. I just, I don't know. What, what do put that in the refrigerator. I don't know. We'll just chill out. That's it? All right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just nervous here, but you know. That's all right. I would, you could put that in the refrigerator any time. Right, I don't don't get drunk with that. <laughs> I won't. All right. <laughs> so why'd you need the cover story to go to uh, Atlantic City? I'll see my brother. Yeah. yeah, but who did you have to give that to as a cover story? No, mm -hmm. my brother is home, my other brother. Right. And I said, I gotta go to Atlantic City. And, but instead you came here. I stopped by to go there. So you like to gamble? Yeah, I love to gamble. You took a little bit of a gamble coming in here tonight. No, I just stopped by. But you said you were nervous when you came in. Why were you so Yeah, nervous? because I was going to Atlantic City, and it was dark, and I'm not usually a driver at dark at night time. So, so the nighttime makes you nervous? Yeah, driving. And I'm not a driver at and, night. And what about I'm... visiting a boy who's home alone? Does that make you nervous? Well, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. I just wanted to just say hi. It just was to not say that, hi yeah. and drop off a package. Yeah, I had beer. Have you been drinking tonight? No, not at all. You could smell my breath. Not at all. It's okay. I don't need to do that. Okay. He tells me several times he thought the boy was 18, but in the chat log, the decoy tells him two different times that he's 14. How old are you? 39. 39. You said you were 35 online. 35, 39. Yeah. We find out later he's actually 46. He says he's unemployed and spends his time caring for his ailing mother. Then he tries to explain away his graphic sexual chat. You asked him in your chat if he was top or bottom. What does that mean? Did I ask I don't remember that. Are you top or bottom? I'm horny, you say. I was just fooling around. Well, if you're just fooling around, then why were you so concerned about knowing whether or not he was a cop. Just joking. Just joking. Mm -hmm. So what made you decide to come over here and meet a teenage boy after uh, this sexually explicit conversation? I thought it was like I wanted to hang out with someone, like a friend. Like I thought he was like 18, something like that. It wasn't, I'm not, not gay or anything. I'm just saying. Well, this isn't about gay No, I'm straight. just saying. And, and, I'm straight. Nobody I'm just cares saying. what adults do. No, I'm just know? saying. But... When you involve somebody who's 14, that's when I it becomes an 18. issue. How old are you, you ask? 14, I told you that already. You say, K, meaning okay. Right? I wasn't going to But why do that. that? What's the motive here? It's, Explain it to me. I don't no, understand. you're right. No, you're right. It's, it's stupid. It's, no. it's an no. illegal thing. Yeah, I know. I did a stupid thing. Do you ever uh, watch much television? Sometimes, once in a while. Not so much of a TV person. Well, I'm Chris Hansen, and I work for Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults oh. who try to meet kids online. Oh, I wouldn't want to be, um, oh boy. Hey, you can walk right out of the door you came okay. in. Okay. He quickly leaves the house and is startled by the police. Come in for a sec. It's a little cold out. How you doing? Good. Oh, it's chilly out. Where is it? I know. Uh, well. How you doing today? My house is your house. Wanna come in? Come in. Nice house. So where do you want to go? Want a water or something? No. This is the first time I met somebody. Yeah? Yeah. It's kind of nervous. Nervous? I know. I am too. You want a water? Anything? Yeah, please. Where are your parents at? They went away. What is it? Sorry? Here you go. Yeah. Here you go. So how old are you? 13. You don't want 13. That's what they all say, you know? That's what they all say. So, where are we going? I don't know. Wherever you want to go to eat. Uh, I'll talk to you. You hungry? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Doesn't matter to me. I'm not really hungry, I just ate. No? No. So you want to stay here? No, not really. You don't want to stay here? What do you want to do after? What do you want to go? Hang out? No. Netflix? Chill? No. Netflix yeah, I chill? Yeah, I was watching Netflix when, you, when I was talking to you. Okay, what, what show? Uh, I watched like TV shows like um, House of Cards, stuff like that. Oh, I haven't seen that. Is it pretty good? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, we, can, we can Netflix and chill. That's going to be a weird question, but you have your ID on you. I don't have an idea on it. Sorry, I'm only 13. 
My mom keeps having a purse. Who lives here? Who lives here? Oh, I live here. Me, my mommy, and my daddy. It's a nice house. Yeah, they work hard. It looks like that. Yeah. This, you want to come look at this? This right here. This is my dad made this. Oh, he did? Yeah. Pretty cool. You want to come look at it? I'll take it to the It's nice in there. Hey, OJ, how are you? I'll be, take a seat right over there. Yeah. What's happening? Nothing. Yeah. What was your plan today? Nothing actually, just to hang out. Just to hang out. Yeah. With a thirteen-year-old boy, who you sent a picture of your private parts. No, I did it. I did. Yes. Ooh. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, it was right. Yeah. I was You've just been chatting with him on and off for weeks. Okay. Yeah, I used to chat with random people on and off. I'd hang out with them. No, nothing's really sexual, to be honest. Nothing sexual? No. What's this, though? Let me see. Oh my god, I did not know I even sent that. Ugh. Yeah, I did not know that. Who was right? Yeah, usually when I send a picture, like I have a bunch of pictures of me. Right. So I must have hit that, but I didn't even know why. So this was just one big mistake? Yeah, I, pretty much, yeah. So you had a picture of yourself out and about town? Because usually, like, usually driving I meet a car. Yeah, like, usually I hit the penis you. pic. Oh, oh, by mistake, I hit the penis pic. Yeah, because I didn't even know because I would even say, like, something afterwards, but I didn't even know I really sent that, to be honest. I really, yeah, usually I meet people, I hang out with them, nothing really sexual. You know, it's like, I don't even put like sexual things on my, like I don't do none of that stuff. Like I don't say, oh yeah, let's meet up and have sex. I don't really do that. I like to meet different people, hang out with them. What is Grindr for? Honestly, I know it's for hookups. I really do know that, but I don't, I'm not all for that. I don't just meet people randomly and just start having sex with random people. That's not what I do. I know it sounds weird coming from myself, but it's, it's, it's not like that. But isn't that what Grindr is for? No, to me it's not. It depends on people who use it for their aspects. Like I don't use it for any sexual like orientation or activity like that. I just meet people, eat movies, we'll go to the restaurant, hang out, eat. I just like to have company with me. I'm like kind of a, how you say, um, I never really had friends when I was younger. Right. So I like to hang out with people, you know, get to know them, get to know them a little bit. You know, that's about it. You know, I meet people from either 13, 17, 18, 30, even to their 40s, just to meet people and talk to them. And how old are you? I'm actually 27. 27? Yes. And what do you do for a living? Me, I'm actually a manager for a restaurant. Which restaurant? Uh, Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's? Yes. And how's that going? It's going good. I actually just started there uh, about a week, well, a couple weeks ago. Right. Yes. But you see how this looks for you to come over and visit know, a 13 yeah. year old boy after yeah, you I, sent him a picture of your. Yeah, penis. I know. Like, I didn't realize I sent that. And even when I came here. Well, how did you not realize? No, I, I understand where you're coming from, but even when I came, even when I parked there, I was just like, oh, this is, even when I sat there, I was like, yeah, this first time I did, like, met someone at someone's house, I felt kind of nervous when coming to a house, because you just say, well, it's me at a public place, so it's more safer for me, that way, just in case I'm the other person, but that's why, even when I came, I actually turned and parked at that park for a while, I was just saying, I was like, I should not be going to this person's house, so I never really, did. yeah, I did, I, to, uh, why did you do it, then? it's the first time for me, I never went to someone's house, before. you know, I hear that all the time, yeah, it's my first time, I'm sure, I'm and sure, yeah. I doubt that all the people who tell me it's their first time are telling the truth, this is, Honest to that. So you're the first honest this guy is, I've ever this, found. This is the first Coming time. Coming to visit a 13-year-old well, no, This is the first time I met a, a, a young person that age. It's the first time ever in history. But what ever. could you possibly have in common at 27 with a 13-year-old stranger? That's something I'll find out when we sit down and chat, to be honest. I mean, there's nothing such as what's going to happen anyway from the get-go. After you sent him a penis picture. And I didn't, realize, I, I didn't realize I sent that. You can look at all my conversations. I did not realize I sent that kind of picture. I did not so realize So today that. you just... So just say what's one a, big misunderstanding. What's say, right? Like for example, like say like I was gonna watch a movie with you know just like an ordinary conversation like a cold, like cold, like friendly type thing. It wasn't like anything sexual. Even even when we were chatting, I never said, "Oh hey, do you want to have sex?" Because that's just not the kind of person I am. I don't want to throw myself out there like that. That's not who I am. So everyone out there, you know, that's not who I am. That's not who I am. Okay, so I appreciate you. that. You're welcome, Chris. Right, thank thank you, you for this actual experience, actually, because uh, it's pretty interesting. Actually, I'm never ever doing this ever again. Okay. Talk to someone's house. So I appreciate that. nothing bad out of this. Okay, I appreciate All it. Right. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thanks I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, where's the exit? Right there, straight ahead, over there. Over the police department, we'll explain everything to you right now. You can't do that. Give me your phone. Hey, letter, Dad. Okay. Okay. You have nothing in your pockets, do you? No, it's my keys. All right, very well. Why am I nervous? 
We'll explain everything in a minute. Face forwards, eyes open. Good. Good. Face the wall. There you go. Um, Jesse, what's your last name? Velas. You got through everything? Yeah. Okay. Right, I know this is upsetting, and trust me, I'm not mean. You know, I'm not. I'm not sitting here in judgment of you. Um, I'm just trying to understand what happened today, and that's all. That's I all am, we're trying I to do. So. Okay. Um, you read everything thoroughly. Yes. Okay. Um, why, don't, why don't you tell me why you think you're here? Why you think you, this whole thing happened? Because uh, I was stupid enough to go on the app and chat with random people, and I met one of them, which unfortunately was underage. Um, Nothing such was gonna happen with any of any of them that I meet today, just hangouts or whatever. And unfortunately I went to their house, which I shouldn't have. Um, okay. and I've never done that before. Usually I meet them at Starbucks just so I feel safe at the same time. Um, but this time I did it. Okay.